Hi guys. So I'm out for what I tentatively so I'm out for what I tentatively describe as a test ride. For those of you that are fed up with hearing about the gearbox, I apologise for the next 10 minutes. I'm just going to talk about the gearbox. But I do promise at least for the next couple of videos after this one, I won't mention it. But I know there's a few of you out there who want an update. So here it is. So last time you guys saw me, you'll recall that I was out for a lovely bike ride around North London that was cut short because the gearbox on the front of the trike started wobbling or came loose or something looked as though it was up with it. So I made my way home. First thing I did was I uh, put the trike up on a stationary trainer that I've got so I can get some clear video of what was going on at the front end without the camera wobbling around all over the place so we did that then I emailed uh, a copy of the video through to the guys at FDO and Having sent that through, I waited for their reply. And because it was over the new year, it took a day or two. But in the meantime, I obviously had to look at the gearbox myself. Um, quite surprised, I have to say, to find that the axle bolt that you saw me talking up using the torque wrench had managed to work themselves to loose to being barely hand tight. Um, also, the BB cups were in a similar position. Now, I didn't have the right tool at the time to uh, torque up the BB cups, so I put as much torque into them as I could with the tool that I had, which was far more than just being finger tight. 
I've never been around this way before. It's quite pleasant. Quite a nice view. It's not bad, is it? So where had I got to? Yeah, so the axle bolts and the BB cups were... Well, they'd loosened themselves somewhat. So I wasn't very chuffed. Um, so, I thought rather than put it back together straight away, I'd wait for the guys at FNEO to email me back, give them a day or so and find out what was going on. And, um, sure enough, they sent me an email back. Now, I haven't got the email on me at the moment, but I can pretty much remember it word for word what was said, because it was only one line. That sort of movement is normal and that in the next version of the gearbox that they come up with they're going to try and eliminate that movement because they understand that it worries people. So that was their response. Oh, it suddenly went dark. <laughs> so, had I have not already taken the gearbox apart, then I may well have taken them at their word and thought nothing more of it. But I had taken the gearbox apart and what I'd also found under the lever arm against my boom was a small amount of damage. So the damage didn't amount to much, but it was damage nevertheless. The paint had flaked off, so when I went to remove, or the paint had cracked, so when I went to remove where the paint had cracked, I found a small dent underneath the lever arm. It was about a millimeter, I think. A millimeter and a half tops the depth of this dent. And uh, as you can imagine, <laughs> I don't want any dent at all. And I wasn't too pleased. Oh. Sharp corner. Um, so, yeah. I'm quite glad I didn't listen to the email that I got from FDO anyhow. So this small dent is now a weak spot in the boom. You remember where that boss was that I had to file off underneath? Well, that small dent is right on that. So let me show you what I've come up with to hopefully fix the problem. So the lever arm ha already had a hole through it and I've now utilised that lever arm to bolt it to a bracket that is now held on. That bracket's held on by two large Jubilee clips around the boom and the bracket now takes, or well, doesn't take the pressure off the boom but it spreads the load of the lever arm across a greater portion of the boom. Hopefully, spreading that load will uh, do the trick. That's the idea, anyhow. And so here we are today, we're out and about testing it. Um, I bought the right tool to torque up the BB cups. Um, so they've all been torqued up to the correct standard and then obviously I already had the tool to torque the axle bolts up which I have now torqued up but on top of that I also brought some uh, thread locker so the axle bolts are torqued up and thread locked so hopefully they won't jiggle loose again um, what else have I done? yeah and as I say the BB cups it was all good, I mean it was all greased up and good, but they somehow worked themselves loose. What I have got is a short bit of video with uh, the trike on the, on, the, uh, on the stand, with me pushing to the equivalent of the highest gear I've got 
so going up a tremendous hill um, putting quite a bit of force through the gearbox and there's movement there but what I think is there now is not movement of the gearbox I think it's movement of the boom you can tell me what you think but I think it's the boom that's moving more than the gearbox now and according to FNEO there should be some movement anyhow apparently according to their email so I'm not going to fret about it too much but we'll see how we go for the next few miles you know, I'll, I'll do I don't know 50 100 miles on it and then we'll let, have another look I'll investigate it again and see whether there's any more movement then than what there is now and we'll just have to keep our eye on it FNEO sells this gearbox as the easiest gearbox to fit mm. probably is to be honest on a standard bike I think the problems that I've had I'm going to put down to the fact that I'm fitting, to, fitting it to a non-standard cycle and to be honest when it works like it is today it's a joy it really really is thoroughly enjoying it and it's just teething problems I guess no I still don't take anything away from FDO they've designed what is a fantastic bit of kit as I say I just think it's non-standard fitting on this trike that's been the problem with the lever arm not having a a small tube to sit on the boom is quite a large tube meaning that the lever arm sits on a very small portion of that tube and the pressure that I put through it was um, just too much so as I say I'm just going to keep an eye on the gearbox over the next few weeks <laughs> do a few miles steadily extend how far I'm going away from home try and find a few small hills and, and, and see how we go with it anyway that's enough about the gearbox for now as I said I'm not going to mention it in at least the next couple of videos and then I'll give you guys an update unless of course it falls off or completely breaks then I think I might have to mention it but, uh, Otherwise, I'll give you a break from it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, and I understand that. Oh, it's cold today. So very, very cold. That's about it for this one, guys. Just a short one. Let you know how I'm getting on. With any luck, the days are getting longer now, so with any luck, the weather's gonna start improving in the next month or so and but I'm hoping to get out and do some overnighters in the next few weeks in any case I don't care what the weather is I'm itching to get out there and camp or even stay in a hotel I don't care I just need to get out on the trike start stretching my legs a bit Right then, I'm going to make my way home because it's starting to get dark already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-da.